Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Lincoln MKC can take you to some really cool places, whether it be through bike riding, camping, or even towing a U-Haul trailer. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. All right, to get started, our first step to prep the vehicle for the hitch is to lower the exhaust. Now, starting on the driver's side, the exhaust hanger bracket is right here along the frame. And to lower it, we will be removing these two bolts using a 13 millimeter socket. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side. And our exhaust will rest on the cross member. All right, next we're going to need to bring our bolts into place. We will be fish wiring our bolts into this hole towards the rear. And back here, there's a square shaped hole that our second carriage bolt will go into. All right, so we're going to need to enlarge our access hole because the head of our bolt does not fit through the bottom of the frame right here. So we're going to use a grind wheel to enlarge that. And now that we have it big enough, we can go ahead and fish wire. So we'll start with our most rearward hole, and we'll put the fish wire in. And then we'll attach our bolt and block. And we'll push our block in first. and then we'll repeat on the driver's side. All right, staying on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and install our side plates for the hitch. Now, you're gonna to want to put the ones that has the curve that faces the outside of the vehicle. And we're gonna go ahead and line it up with our two bolts. And we're gonna run our fish wires through those holes. And we'll run our fish wires through the top holes to help line it up. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the fish wires and without pushing the bolt back inside the frame, we're going to install our flange nuts onto those bolts. and we'll repeat the same process on the passenger side. All 
Right now with our side plates in place, we're gonna go ahead and bring our hitch into position. Now we're just gonna slide it over the passenger side first and line it up with those plates. All right, now we're going to take our bolts and we're gonna line it up into these three holes right here with the bolt facing the outside of the vehicle. And then we'll tighten it using our included flange nut. and then we'll repeat on the driver's side. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and bring, in our, bring our exhaust back into place. So we're gonna line it up with those previous holes. And we're gonna go ahead and line up our attachment holes and use the same bolts that held it up before. And we'll repeat on the on the driver's side. All right, now with all of our bolts into place, we're gonna go ahead and tighten and torque them according to the manufacturer's specifications. And we'll be using a 13 millimeter socket for the two exhaust hanger bolts. And for the rest of our flange nuts, we'll be using an 11 16 socket. and we'll repeat on the passenger side. All right, now with our hitch in place, we went ahead and pulled it down on level ground to show you a couple of the measurements for your hitch accessories. This hitch is a two inch receiver and from the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is five inches and from the ground to the top of the, of the inside of the receiver is 12 and a half inches. That way you know what size of a ball mount that you'll need or what kind of vertical post for a bike rack will work best with your vehicle. 
All right, guys, that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. For more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or visit us at uhaulhitches.com.